Thanks for taking the time, Coach. Would you like to start with an opening statement or get any questions? Um, sure. Hey, obviously a lot of work done the last two days, as, as we've said a couple of times, a tough time of the year. Um, excited about the team we're putting together. Um, still a little bit of work left to do, but um, I'm sure we'll see some of these guys back. Um, but, you know, we're heading in the right direction. Open it up from there. All right, let's go to Joe Person, followed by Skylar Callahan. Frank, what went into the decision to uh, waive Matt, excuse me, and what are the chances he comes back on practice for? Yeah, you know, we're happy with the progress that Matt made. You know, there's, as as we've talked about, you know, really the whole offseason, there's a lot of complexities, a lot of moving parts to putting together a roster, right? Everybody understands that the sole motivation is to do what's best for the team. You know, we're trying to get as many uh, players on the roster and in that locker room uh, on the 53 and on the practice squad as we can that can help us win this year. So those are tough decisions. Um, I would hope, you know, I don't mind saying I would love to get Matt back. Um, he's done, we think he's done very well. I'd like to see him continue to progress. Hey, Frank, you guys uh, keeping five tight ends may have surprised a few people. Uh, what do you like about that room and, and as a whole? What Are you looking to see something from one or two of those guys to make maybe trim that room down, or do you intend to go in with the five? We like that room. Um, it's funny. I, I You know, as I've – this whole offseason in training camp, I keep telling those guys that I, whenever I talk to the tight ends, I say, listen, man, guys, I mean, this is a good room, uh, the way you guys complement each other. So, you know um, – so we'll see, you know, we may make a move here, but, we, you know, I think we're going to try, you know, I think we'll end up trying to keep these guys around. Um, we, we really like this room. All right, let's go to Jeff Hawkins. Hey, Coach. Uh, one day after a final cut, what is your impression of the Falcons roster? And with questions with their secondary, is this a good opponent for uh, Bryce to debut with? Thank you. Yes, you know, we've had our preliminary, you know, scout meetings, um, you know, just an introduction to the Falcons and obviously have studied their film some, uh, you know, from preseason, which really the starters didn't play much. So, um, listen, we're this is a division opponent. We know what that means. We're going to get each other's best. They're going to get our best. We're going to get their best. We have a lot of respect for their roster. That They made a lot of moves um, in the offseason. Um defensively, you know, up front, which always, you know, so we think their pass rush will be greatly improved um, and it'll be a good challenge for our offense. Any more questions for coach? Thank you, everybody. Thanks, coach. I, I've got another one. Sorry, I didn't have my, didn't have my, uh, my electronic hand in the air, Frank. Just, um, uh, Wondered if you could touch on the three guys you you claimed today. Um, you know what, uh, you guys know, and I appreciate you asking that, Joe. Um, and obviously Scott will, you know, be here tomorrow, right? He'll get with you guys tomorrow, and he'll really be able to put a bow on everything. You know, um, we'll have all the work done because we still don't have the, you know, we still don't have the practice squad totally filled out. So he'll be able to clean everything up tomorrow, but. Um, all three of the guys that we got, linebacker, a, a DB, and a tackle, or guard slash tackle, uh, I'd rather not go into it, but we feel good that obviously you claim them, they're on your 53, and if we feel like they can contr uh, can contribute. And then a follow-up, you guys kept, at least for now, a couple undrafted uh, free agents along that offensive line. Wondered what impressed you with both Nash and Ricky throughout the summer. Yeah, just as, you know, young developmental guys that, you know, showed flashes of, you know, being able to have the qualities and the instincts of what it takes to play offensive line in this league, um, good chemistry in the room, but also the right physical skills and the right mental approach. So, um, you know, it's and, and good. We've got a young quarterback, good to develop some young linemen with him and, and get the depth we need. So excited about those two players. Hey, Coach, I just want to ask you, what, I know you've got a young quarterback as your starter right now, but what is your philosophy as far as trying to have a, another younger guy versus a, a veteran guy um, to develop behind um, Bryce? 
as far as uh, well i would just say about the room you know i would say hey we're very comfortable with andy you know in the room um and what the role that he plays still playing at a high level as i've said I, i'm really impressed with andy the chemistry in the room is perfect and then you know um you know matt's been our young guy we'll see how it all plays out but you know certainly like the idea of continuing to develop a young quarterback seeing um he's progressed this uh, off season what are a couple of areas that you can pick out that you've seen that he's really stepped up a little bit from what you saw him film from last year I just think it's incremental improvements in every area. I really think, you know, that that's really um, that's really what we're looking for more than anything. You know, just small incremental improvements on a consistent basis in every area leads to really big gains over a long time. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. All right, let's go to Joe and finish with Mike K. Frank, I know you addressed uh, Amir yesterday, but having seen him in person today out there for a little bit, uh, yeah. what did you think of him? Yeah, it looked good. You know, fielded the ball well, um, caught it well. You know, you could see, you know, you could see the route runner in him. You know, you could see the route runner in him. You could see the instincts that he has. Um, so excited to get to know him more. Frank, um, as an offensive coach, how important is that return game to you guys? And why was that such a priority here? Uh, I guess these last couple of days between bringing in the wide receiver and bringing in the corner who can return pawns. Well, you know, field, field position, as you guys know, field you could pretty much, you know, look at your field position for a game and what yard line you start and the percentages of scoring touchdown as we all would expect and intuitively understand is going to be impacted by the starting field position. So, um, so any help you can get in the return game has a dramatic Im can have a dramatic impact on the offense. Secondly, when you have a, you know, when you do what we did to get Bryce, you know, you 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 want to have a good return game to help set the whole team up, but really helps set your your new young quarterback out. Uh, so we think that's a big deal. 